Hi, this is Mr. Leckenby at the Edison Public Library, and this is the Teen Tuesday Virtual Craft. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a flower press. Um, this is a great time of year to start pressing flowers for the fall, and um, so you have something to give people for Christmas and the other holidays in the winter. Um, now, the flower press that I'm going to be making um, requires some tools. Uh, so if you have a drill and a saw, that's basically what you need to make this. Um, so you're going to start off with um, two pieces of plywood or any kind of flat wood. Um, so what I have here is uh, it's probably about a 9 by 9 piece of wood. Um, and that's that's a pretty good shape because then you can fit almost any size flower or leaf and that is another thing that you can press in a flower press or leaves so um, you're gonna need two of these and you're gonna cut them to the same size uh, and then with your drill now you can use a hand saw or a power saw um, just make sure you're careful and you wear goggles or eye, eye protection and you have an, a grown-up help you if you are inexperienced using tools like that. Uh, the next tool you're going to use is a drill and you're going to drill four holes into each corner of the pieces of wood. Um, the best way to do this is to actually line them up on top of each other so that the holes are going to be exactly lined up on both pieces of wood. All right. Now the next thing you're going to need, this is these are called carriage bolts. Carriage bolts are, um, they don't have a screw or a line in them for screwing. They're actually just, it's just a plain bolt. Um, this is a, f a four inch carriage bolt. So you're going to need four carriage bolts and four nuts, wing nuts. They have to be wing nuts. That, I mean, they don't have to be, but that's that's the going to be the easiest way to take the um, flower press apart. All right. Uh, now, once you have the holes drilled in your wood, um, you're going to need some cardboard. Now, the cardboard is going to be cut to the same shape, I mean, the same size as the wood, but you're going to cut off these corners, and I'll show you why. Because they're going to go in the flower press and you don't want them hitting where the carriage bolts are. All right, so I'm gonna move my camera so you can see how this is assembled. All right, here we go. Okay, so <clears throat> you're going to feed your bolts through the bottom of the first piece of wood. This will be your, your bottom piece, okay? Like so. Now this is where the um, cardboard comes in. You're gonna, you can see why I cut the cardboard the way I did so that it fits in here, but it's not gonna hit the bolts. All right. Now the reason we um, want cardboard in here is well, there's a couple different reasons, but the first one is that um, <clears throat> when you press, when you put your flowers in here you can create layers. So the more pieces of cardboard you have, have the more layers of flowers you can press in your flower press. So um, you're always going to press one flower or leaf between each thin piece of cardboard. All right. So the more pieces of cardboard you have, the better. Um, when you do press your flowers or leaves, um, it's always a good idea to put um, an extra piece of paper or even Kleenex that's going to absorb the moisture from the leaves or flowers. Um, don't ever use paper towels because those leave an impression. Those have a actually have a, a pattern on them, and you don't want to <clears throat> use that. Excuse me. All right. Once you have your flower or leaf in there, you're going to put your second piece of cardboard down on top of it, and then you're going to put your second piece of wood on the carriage bolts like so. Okay, 
you're going to screw it all down with the wing nuts and you're going to tighten it. <clears throat> you're going to make it as tight as you can and most flowers and leaves you need to press for at least 10 days. And what you're trying to do is get all the moisture, wait for all the moisture to come out of the leaves and flowers. All right. um, and you can always take this apart <clears throat> if you want to add another layer and press a different flower or leaf. You can take it apart while other things are in here. Um, just try not to m move it too much. Move the layer that already has the flower or leaf in it. Okay, so <clears throat> it's all pressed down. Now, what I did is I painted the top piece of wood with chalk paint. And the reason I did that is that once I have my leaf or flower in here, I can write down what I have and when I pressed it. So let's say I am pressing a violet. So I can write violet and I can write the date that I put it in here. So let's say day 4, August 4th. And then I set it aside and um, in 10 days on the 14th, I can open it up and my violet should be all done. All right, so that's how you make a flower press. Um, obviously you can use other methods. Um, some people just take a book, a big heavy book, and they put the flowers and the leaves in the book and they press it that way. But this is a little more um, involved, a little more uh, elaborate and kind of fun to make. So if you like making things, out of wood, this is a good thing to do. Um, it also makes a nice gift. Your pressed flowers and leaves can be put on cards that you can give to people. All right. So thank you for joining me for Team Tuesday's uh, virtual craft. Check our website for any other events that are coming up for teens. We're always adding new things. So have a good day and take care.